good afternoon everyone so in this video we'll just discuss about the elfidium its structure life cycle reproduction uh, of bsc geology semester one so elfidium elfidium is usually called as elfidium crispum elfidium crispum so it belongs to the phylum protozoa and to the subphylum sarcomastigophora sarco mastigophora is the subphylum then it belongs to the class sarcodina and to the order forminifera to the genus elfidium and as you know so species is the crispum so it is usually called as uh, shell animal cule it is called as shell animal cule so elfidium crispum these are the marine organisms that are usually present at the bottom of the sea they creeps near the seaweeds they lies uh, at the depth of 300 fathoms where one fathom is equals to 1.8 meter so these are the organisms that are usually present under the sea at the bottom of the sea they lie at the bottom of the sea and these organisms when we talk about the structure of these organisms these have shell cytoplasm and the pseudopodia so shell so shell is the outer covering of these organisms where it helps in protecting the organism so this shell usually have a number of chambers so where the chambers overlap with one another so this process of overlapping of chambers is called as alar process alar process and uh, one more thing is that uh, shell is composed of calcium carbonate and small amount of silicon and magnesium sulfate the first formed chamber that is responsible for the formation of the shell is called as proloculum so proloculum is the initial proloculum proloculum it is the initial chamber that helps in the formation of the entire shell so usually this shell is spiral in shape the cytoplasm cytoplasm usually covers the shell it is present inside the shell so the cytoplasm that lies inside the shell is called as inner cytoplasm and a small layer of cytoplasm that also covers outside of the shell then it is called as outer cytoplasm inner cytoplasm and outer cytoplasm so the cytoplasm contains many organelles like golgi complex ribosomes and mitochondria etc then pseudopodia as you know that pseudopodia are the locomotor structure or the organs that are responsible for the locomotion so pseudopodia in uh, Elfidium. So pseudopodia are of generally these pseudopodia can be divided into four types: lobopodia, phylopodia, reticulopodia, and axopodia. So pseudopodia in Elfidium they are of reticulopodia, which are also called as mixopodia. So this pseudopodia can help the organism for capturing the food and also helps in locomotion. Then dimorphic forms. dimorphic form so elfidium as we have studied that uh, elfidium exists in two different forms it exhibits an alteration of generation so the two different forms of elfidium are megalospheric form and the microspheric form usually the megalospheric form have a larger proloculum so it is the as we have uh, discussed that proloculum is initial chamber that can be responsible for the formation of shell so as the organism grows on the number of chambers around the proloculum 
will also increase where it uh, leads to the formation of a complete shell so the megalospheric form usually have a larger uh, proloculum and uh, megalospheric form undergoes sexual reproduction and even the nucleus is also larger and which is uninucleate and it is a uh, deployed in nature and whereas uh, microspheric form it has a smaller proloculum and uh, several nuclei are present which are of haploid nature smaller proloculum and uh, several nuclei are present which are of haploid nature it undergoes a sexual reproduction so when we talk about the reproduction in elphidium so reproduction elphidium as we have already discussed that elphidium exists in two different forms one is megalospheric form and the other one is microspheric form so megalospheric form undergoes sexual reproduction whereas microspheric form undergoes asexual reproduction so the megalospheric form in megalospheric form we, as we have discussed that it undergoes sexual reproduction and microspheric form undergoes asexual reproduction so when we talk about microspheric form which undergoes asexual reproduction so the microspheric form undergoes multiple fission where the entire cytoplasm containing several nuclei that creeps out of the shell where it forms a lump around it so a small amount of cytoplasm is collected around the nucleus each nucleus large number of amoebulae or amoeboid cells amoeba like cells are formed so they detach from the parent shell and each amoebulae secretes a shell around the large proloculum where it becomes a young megalospheric form so it repeatedly secretes the number of chambers and uh, forms a uninucleate megalospheric form so whereas in megalospheric form as we have discussed that it undergoes sexual reproduction so in megalospheric form the nucleus which is uninucleate which is larger in size it breaks and it usually forms sm several small nuclei so the cytoplasm collapses around each nuclei then the nuclei divides twice where each cell acquires a pair of flagella each cell acquires a pair of flagella so as it is having two flagella it is called the cell is called as biflagellate and uh, the fusion of biflagellate cells which are of similar size this process is called as isogamy and the gametes or the cells that are responsible for isogamy is called as isogametes so isogametes so the each zygote secretes a shell around itself and it becomes the microspheric form so the diploid nucleus undergoes uh, meiosis and then repeated mitosis process to form a microspheric form and elphidium exhibits an alteration of generation in its life cycle that means the megalospheric form undergoes sexual reproduction in order to form the microspheric form whereas the microspheric form undergoes a sexual reproduction in order to form a megalospheric form so this process of alteration of the megalospheric form and microspheric form is called as an alteration of generations so this is about the life cycle reproduction and all about the structure of elphidium